From the ancient story of David and Bathsheba, we see King David trying to get rid of Bathsheba's husband Uriah. Now Uriah was a fiercely loyal soldier of King David. He was part of his most elite fighting forces. And the way David killed Uriah was to have the commander order him to the front of battle and then remove support and leave him alone to die. Today, we would call that having the troops stand down. We saw that happen in Benghazi, where the ambassador was killed and those who defended him, the few SEALs that were there and other military personnel were left stranded alone as the troops were told to stand down. We see something very similar happening even before Benghazi. Two years ago in Afghanistan, we had the largest loss of life for SEALs ever. We had 30 people die in a raid. 22 were SEALs, eight were other military. Many of those who died, many of the SEALs who died were part of the purported Osama bin Laden raid, and it happened shortly after that. And we have two people here who want some answers. Representing the families is Larry Clayton, and he is with Judicial Watch as a public interest and nonprofit law firm. And he became famous, I guess, back in the Clinton administration. He filed 18 civil lawsuits against the Clinton administration. But he also went after Dick Cheney, trying to get some information about the White House Energy Task Force. So he's out there against uh, both parties when necessary to find out the truth. And now they're tr he's trying to get some truth, some information, some real information, some true information for the families who desperately want that information. And with him today, we have a father of one of the SEALs who died, Charlie Strange. His son, Michael Strange, was killed in that raid. Well, thank you for joining us today. We've got uh, Larry Clayman and Mr. Strange. And uh, I guess the first thing I want to say, Mr. Strange, is we're so sorry about your loss. And uh, I, I know that it's a terrible, terrible thing here. But there is something that we appreciate you following this and looking to see what's really behind this, because this is something that is much larger for the nation than the loss of even uh, so many military men, so many SEALs and elite fighting forces. Yes, it is. It's, you know, uh, somebody betrayed our country here. Yes. And yes. Uh, leaked out some valuable information that killed 30 brave Americans. And this is something that affects all Americans as well as all servicemen. When something like this can happen to your son, this is something that can happen to anyone who is in the military, and even to anyone who is in the United States. They don't have to be in the military. We have questions about what happened to Michael Hastings. And when we see the government giving us so many different versions of the story, and so many of these versions, well, actually, none of them really ring true, do they? No, nah, not at all. And then that's the main purpose, is to get the truth, and, and so this don't happen to someone else's son or daughter. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you for doing this, and uh, we thank you, thank the other families for doing this. Mr. Clayton, uh, Clayman, is the, um, how many families are involved in this lawsuit? We have three involved in the lawsuit, and there are other families that actually joined our group. Uh, right now, we can't say who they are, but people are coming to us, and <laughs> we suspect that there'll be many more as this lawsuit progresses. Now, tell us the uh, basis of the lawsuit. Exactly what is it that you're suing about? The basis is, and you can find it at freedomwatchusa.org, that website. You can see a copy of the complaint. There are a number of bases, but with regard to Vice President Joseph Biden and then-Secretary Liam Panetta, that they released the name of SEAL Team 6 after Osama bin Laden was killed, which put a target Mm -hmm. on the backs of these SEALs and other special ops forces and violating constitutional rights. They've been sued in their individual capacity. We also sued uh, President Helmut Karzai of Afghanistan and Afghanistan itself because we have reason to believe that Afghanistan gave up these SEALs to the Taliban in exchange for something. And we sued the government of Iran because Iran pays a bounty of a million dollars, excuse me, a thousand dollars per head for each U.S. serviceman that is killed. So all of these defendants are in the case, and the case is going to be moving forward, uh, but it's a multifaceted case. Well, tell us about the, uh, the Afghan connection with Hamid Karzai. Well, one of the uh, things that really uh, upsets us 
is that when this helicopter took off, this Chinook helicopter, and Charlie can explain it as well, there were seven Afghanis that were supposed to go on that mission along with the SEALs and other special ops forces. And they were removed at the last minute. In fact, there's no reference to who they were replaced with on the manifest. Hmm. And we know that uh, the Taliban was laying in wait uh, for the SEALs and for the other special ops in the Tangine Valley. And you put all of the things together in this matter, and it raises uh, the likelihood that somehow security was breached, that the, the Taliban knew that these SEALs were coming their way, and it's most likely that Afghanistan was behind it. Because they try to play both sides of the fence. President Karzai of Afghanistan is extremely corrupt. He may have even made a lot of money by uh, giving up these SEALs. Oh, yeah. You know, all of these things are things that are going to be explored in this lawsuit because we're going to have the opportunity to take discovery and gather documents and those kinds of things. So we'll wait for the ultimate conclusion, but we have enough evidence right now to have sued these entities. Let, let, let's review a little bit of what happened there. So basically you have a, a helicopter situation where it goes in. Everybody is told that it was a helicopter crash that everybody died in, but then we see that the bodies are not burned, many of them. Uh, however, they are cremated. Uh, even though the bodies are intact, uh, that looks like a cover-up there. We learn that fire control officers and others are told to basically stand down. We also learn that there are suspicious Afghans on the helicopter as well, and they're, they're taken off. Other Afghans who are supposed to be on the helicopter are taken off. New ones are put on. We don't know who they are. And we see that uh, there's a uh, suspicious communication about this tower. We see that Afghans are immediately celebrating that they got SEAL Team 6, which looks like they got information. You're putting all of this stuff together, and then, Mr. Strange, you get a, uh, information from, is it Rob Kadera told you that he could hear every message you said? Is that correct? Somebody named Rob Kadera? Yeah. And who is Rob yeah. Kadera? Could you tell everyone who that is? He was one of the Navy personnel that, uh, one of the four that came up to us, and, uh, that was telling us, him and Jamie Cotter, that everybody had to be cremated August uh, 6th and 7th. And then when we went to uh, the investigation, October 12th with General Colt, uh, the night before at the hotel, I left at the, uh, me and my wife left a note in the lobby. Anybody, any of the parents from Extortion 17 want to meet with Mr. and Mrs. Strange at 7 o'clock in the lobby and not all the parents stayed in the same hotel. And uh, quite a few of them came down. And uh, we were talking about what happened. And everybody had a different story. You know, one parent said they told them that it ran into a mountain. One said they hit a building. And um, in the beginning, that's what they were getting told. Mm -hmm. And the next So they were telling everybody... They were telling everybody that helicopter had crashed. And some of them, they would say it hit a building. Some of them would say it hit a mountain. Is that correct? August 6th and August 7th, yes. Mm -hmm. And then, then they came up with the theme RPG. Mm -hmm. I really think it was a man pad, heat seeking missile. But um, October 12th, Rob Cadero came up to me and uh, a few other high ranking uh, Navy people saying, Oh, that was nice that you had all the parents together last night, Mr. Strange. They were watching. They were watching. And then afterwards, when he's walking me to my car, he says, uh, you know, with this phone I have here, I can hear everything you say. I get every text message you get. Huh. And he says, then you can walk up to me, and I push this button, and it disappears. It's a, it's a tale of deception and lies. It's a tale of betrayal. And if people want to follow this progress, they can go to freedomwatchusa.org. That's Larry Clayman's website. And... There is a memorial website for Michael Strange that actually talks about voices for silent heroes, and that's Michael Strange dot, uh, michaelstrangefoundation.org. Is that correct, Mr. Strange? Yes. Yes, michaelstrangefoundation.org. There it is right there on the uh, key. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for following this, and we'll be coming back to you to find updates. We hope we get some answers, all of us. Thank you very much, thank and God bless you. Thank you. Well, stay tuned to InfoWars. We're going to be following this as it develops. As we said, it's yet another story of betrayal and deception. A lot of similarities to the Benghazi raid and a lot of similarities to the Osama bin Laden raid. 
a lot of lies and stories that don't that are ever changing and the details do not match up and one of the other things that's going on in Afghanistan is a massive surge in the production of poppies which of course are used to produce heroin and other uh, opiates and uh, if you want to know more about America's failed war on drugs you can follow the original story in America drug war that's about uh, cocaine actually not uh, heroin so much, but then also a new film that is available on DVD only from InfoWars, and that is America Drug War II, Cannabis Destiny. They like to tell us that the war on drugs is there to save the children. Well, let's look at the effect that it has on children. Specifically, filmmaker Kevin Booth found that children in foster care were being taken advantage of in order to sell big pharma products. They were being mandated to give, be, being given all kinds of heavy-duty pharmaceuticals mandated by Child Protective Services for the foster care families, as well as effective medical marijuana treatments being withheld from people. So let's talk about what happens to the children when we have a war on drugs. And that's available exclusively from Infowars.com. And you can get that as a two-pack and save $7 off of the purchase of American Drug War I and American Drug War II. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Authoritarian control freaks throughout history have sought to make populations dependent. The United Nations openly has talked about using food as a weapon against the third world and the industrialized first world. State Department Memorandum 200, developed by Henry Kissinger, called for destroying the food capacity, not just of the United States, but every country in the world, so they could use food scarcity as a political weapon of control. Just a decade ago, less than 10 million Americans were on food stamps. Four years ago, it was 25 million. It's now reached almost 50 million. Socialist health care is designed to destroy our health care system. The establishment wants you to be a bunch of cowardly, dumbed-down people who can't stand up for yourselves. That's why they're rushing to try to restrict citizens owning firearms. Because since the early 1990s, gun ownership has gone straight up while violent crime has gone straight down by 49%. And globalist-controlled strongholds like Chicago and New York, where they've taken the citizens' guns, have the highest crime rates in the world. What am I getting at here? The system doesn't want you to be self-sufficient. That's why I promote the fact that you should go out, buy firearms, and go take lessons and learn how to use them. I want you to stand up for your birthright of liberty and freedom. During a serious meltdown, they're going to tell you, hey, you want food? Turn in your guns. And that's why we need to put the globalists in check. And then finally bring them to checkmate by being self-sufficient, by being prepared, by having a garden, by learning how to can your own foods, by having friends and family and community that will stand together. But at the heart of that is having quality, storable foods. And that's why I went out more than a decade ago and found the very best food company to be my sponsor, eFoods Direct. They're the company that I personally use for my emergency food storage preparation, whether it be for natural disasters or the tyranny that is intensifying. So give them a call, 800-409-5633. That's 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex to find the weekly and monthly specials. But uh, they're always running the specials where you can get the free six meals and the eFoods Direct audio CD put together by the experts in storable foods to answer all your questions, the eFoods planning guide, the eFoods brochure, the eFoods catalog, plus um, six free meals, creamy potato soup, tortilla soup, and cheesy chicken rice, so you can sample the high-quality storable foods from eFoods Direct. They've got a bunch of other specials. The two-week food supply provides one adult with 81 servings of healthy, delicious, storable food for 14 days. The one-month food supply provides provides 192 servings or 
28 days. And then there's the one-month family food pack. It will change the way you look at the food in your pantry. Every time you eat one of these meals, you are eating healthy, delicious food and saving a lot of money. The three-month food supply. 576 servings of storable food for 91 days. And the one-year food supply will provide you with 2,304 servings of healthy, delicious, storable food for one full year. Your meals are as delicious and nutritious tonight as they'll be in 25 years. Bottom line, there's a bunch of specials at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can also call them at the toll-free number on your screen, and they can send you a catalog with all the specials detailed and tell you about the weekly and monthly specials that they're always running. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex to find all the specials or call the toll-free number. And so in closing, when you buy from eFoodsDirect.com, you are supporting the radio broadcast, the nightly news the magazine, the films, and everything we're doing. Because we're not like MSNBC or Media Matters that get government and corporate funding to bring down America and bring in tyranny. We are funded by our sponsors and you, the viewers and listeners, that support them. Again, that's eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633. And when you're also visiting InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com, you can click on the banners to take you to the weekly and monthly specials. It's like the Hank Williams Jr. song, A Country Boy Can Survive, because you can't starve us out and you can't make us run because these boys were raised on shotguns. Well, there aren't really a lot of good old boys left anymore, are there? And those that are out there are demonized and are enemy number one by Homeland Security. And good old boys come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. They're people that aren't chumps who understand that they're going to take care of their family and that nobody else is. They're people that understand that if somebody else is taking care of them, that makes them a slave. And that the government doesn't want you dependent because they want to build a great future for you. They want to get you dependent so they can social engineer us. So the answer is get self-sufficient, become men again, and tell the New World Order to go straight to hell. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and eFoods Direct, our great sponsor.